Hey, it's Tom from Tom's Tunes. We are here with this 2010 Manitou Tritune. Got a big 150 high output on the back. Really a fun boat, and it's not that old. It's been well taken care of. The catch is, if you get up close here, this giant, heavy, textured carpet traps every little bit of dirt, stains, shows it all. And actually, if we walk around the back real quick, you'll see from the fuel, spilling the exhaust who knows but we've got this layer of crunchy i'm not even sure what you call that um that's just caked onto the carpet so the carpet's going this is getting a vinyl weave the deckmate vinyl weave from pontoonstuff.com everything's gonna come off so we're gonna take this boat down all the way to the bare bones put new plywood on it's only 10 well 12 13 years old why replace the vinyl when the wood might wear out in the next 10 years or so so we just start fresh, all new. That way we know that the glue is going to stick well to the plywood. We make that investment once in the boat. It's going to last a lot longer. We have underneath this boat, that's something you might run into on one of these newer boats, especially the Tritunes. But there is that aluminum paneling, typically just a thin sheet aluminum that is all the way down in between the pontoons to keep spray, call it under skinning, keeps the spray from hitting the cross members, slowing you down, making a bumpy ride, etc. It's a fast boat, 30 plus mile an hour boat. So you're gonna get a lot of spray up in there. Let's go inside and take a look at the carpet on the inside as well as the seating. If you listen, this has been in our shop for over 24 hours now, I think closer to 48 hours. It's still soaking wet. That's what happens, this carpet holds the moisture, the moisture gets down to the plywood and that's why your plywood will get soft. It might not feel soft on your feet, but when we peel this up, I can almost promise you it's gonna bring up some plywood with it that layer is shot this is only a couple layers of ply that are dry versus the top several and that stuff is soft and soggy the whole way through it's it just gets gross over time so we've got stains some rust stains that come over here you can see it's got the mildew the moss growing along the door there it just traps all that in there's no way to get rid of it you could power wash but eventually that carpet gets loaded and you can't, you're just moving it around with the power washer instead of actually cleaning it. We'll get this all taken off, the helm will come off, and then we'll lay that new vinyl weave flooring down, put everything back in, clean it up a little bit, make it look as new as possible, give this, this awesome boat a new chance at easy ownership, zero maintenance, just hose it down or blow it off with a leaf blower and your floor is clean with that new vinyl. We just wrapped up this 2010 Manitou. This is a flooring job. That's all we did on it. But we took everything off. The underskinning on the bottom, the aluminum sheets. We took the railings. The old plywood, it was 12 years old. But if you saw in one of our other videos, that plywood was soggy, getting wet from the top down for all those years. We went with the tan vinyl weave flooring from pontoonstuff.com. I'll tag the link right now you can click on if you want to shop this type of flooring it comes in a few different colors and options as well as the plywood to deliver it right to your house so you can click that link to shop using our link our unique link and our coupon code which you just enter tom's tunes at checkout to take advantage of five percent off on your flooring kit but let's hop up real quick i'll take you through just give you a quick overview of the floor flowing through but remember when we do this floor we make sure we put in our fence risers to elevate the railing so water can run off. It's not gonna get that mildew and mold and crunchy, nasty moss that builds up on wet carpet. I'll walk you through real quick. We'll show you the finished project. 